favourites of Audi. We've had a malfunction with the dress. Mr. Romero just helped me drag it into it. <laughs> but we're stuck. We're kind of like, like we've makeshifted the back. But this is a La Metamorph dress i want to say i rented it from my wardrobe hq whenever i have an event they're really handy because you can just go in get something quick and they've got such a selection so i arrived back from paris yesterday and went straight to harrods to pick it up so yeah we fit it into it i'll show you more details when we get there but we are in an audi q8 etron yeah <laughs> <laughs> and it is very cozy so we are off to see a lot of things today starting with Kurt Geiger which is the outfit I have on actually no the the accessories are Kurt Geiger the outfit is Ted Baker but look how beautiful this suit is shoes are Kurt Geiger as well they're this gorgeous little kid in heel I sound like I've got a cold don't I I feel like I'm trying not to be ill but I potentially am <laughs> I don't know um the belt is KG they're doing this a double bag trend which is what i'm shooting i kind of like the idea because you can have your gym kit or your laptop in here and like your makeup and your person here i always love a big bag so the fact that it's not trendy to have two i'm in i'm all for it but when i popped these glasses on my stories you guys went crazy um so i feel like they're my new faves you know my shade game <laughs> i really really love a good sunglass but these are cut gagged too and they've got that little eagle emblem like very very subtle enjoy it a lot so i'm doing a little try on for instagram i'm working with river island over on there um go check out the reel give give some show the support send a yellow heart emoji if you come from youtube um such a YouTuber thing to say, isn't it? <laughs> Who am I? Um, so this is River Island, the blazer River Island, the belt River Island, this skirt River Island, basically all River Island, even the sunglasses, which really look like the Stella one, Stella McCartney. So I thought I'd do a little try on haul for you. This is the first outfit. Okay, this jacket is the perfect spring jacket. It is full so nicely, like the shape is really nice and then i've just paired it with tan accessories to break it up got the nude heels on i am so vibing this jacket so good next up these sunglasses as well really good range of sunglasses this blouse so cute i feel like it looks so expensive and this bag as well it's vibing i've just paired it with some black shoes and then um, the kid in heels are they kidding? No, these are high. Slingbacks. Bye. So this dress, I feel like it's beautiful. I've just whacked a belt on around the middle to tie in the black accessories. Such a vibe. I feel like it makes the boobs look great. <laughs> I don't think I've caught up with you guys for a, a few days. I came back from Paris and straight to the Brits and I had like a, well, I actually had to t edit the TV advert, but then we chilled. So I've um, 
got my glam on tonight. I'm looking a very weird call because there's red lights on me, but we are dressed obviously in my faves, Karen Minnan. For we're going to a gala at the Natural History Museum tonight. Um, I thought I'd take you along. I'm in a beautiful car from the Uno app. Um, it's a great car service. If any of you guys are interested, I'll leave a link down below because I think it's just so much better than Uber. <laughs> so my um, long friend Henry is coming with me tonight. You guys haven't seen him for a while. But um, yeah, I've got dress on from Caramel and I've got a accessorized handbag and some Caramel shoes, which I'll show you later. So we've arrived on the steps of the Natural History Museum and I'm with these two taking the worst photos. They take forever. I need a video as well. I need a video, I need a video. Tweedledee and Tweedledum. I'm fucking Sorry? either of them. Henry's both at this rate. <laughs> they talk at the speed of light. It's quite amazing really. <laughs> So I just got in. <laughs> Gonna get my teddy bear. <laughs> I think I'm having a bit of a meltdown. I've just literally voice noted my best friend about 100 messages telling her of said meltdown. I think I've done too much. <laughs> and as we speak, I have not edited any of the footage since the BAFTAs because I've not had a single day off in a long time. It's not even stopping there. I've got two big campaigns I need to shoot on Sunday. And then I've got a full week of Cheltenham next week and I'm freezing my eggs. I feel exhausted. I usually walk into a room so fucking confident. Like just the person, I don't. I just don't feel like myself, I feel like I've been shying away from crowds. I just, I feel like I'm really coming, like withdrawing into myself and it's just not me at all. Like I'm usually so full of confidence. I've got some real weird social anxiety coming on and it's around when this, it comes about when there's so many big characters in a room fighting for attention and I just, find myself getting like a real social anxiety coming on and this is so new this has never happened before and yeah I, I don't know what's happening it's a really new thing I don't know whether I'm just tired I'm obviously got a like I've got a cold coming you can sense it my skin is terrible I'm also like I don't know I feel like I've done too much haven't I <laughs> And I feel really weird about the situation because obviously you work so hard to get to a point where like you're this booked and you're this busy and now that I've got there I'm like I feel like I want to cry. <laughs> I feel like I want to cry. Just. <sighs> it's a really weird feeling. I feel like everyone wants to be your friend, but nobody's really a friend. I feel like everyone wants a picture in the place where it makes them look cool, but when you're at these events, it's not that cool. I feel like the world is just the opposite to what it all seems. Laura's thought of the day. 